What's going on, everyone? ChristianPickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Binghamton versus NJIT college basketball matchup going down Thursday, February 1st, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Binghamton and NGIT. I'll tell you that Binghamton logo, actually one of my favorite in college basketball, but neither here nor there. You got Binghamton coming into this one, 9-10 and 10 on the year, snapping a five-game losing streak with their first conference win of the season and a 51-50 to 50 win over Maine on the road in their last matchup. Meanwhile, NJIT sitting at 5-14 and 14 on the year, 1-6 and six in conference play, snapping their own losing streak in conference after a 75-74 win on the road over UMBC. Now, there is a lot of red in this matchup when you look at the statistical numbers, and red not good whatsoever. Um, if you just go to conference play for these two teams, these are two of the worst teams in the country. Um, Binghamton ranked 298th in Ken Palm, NJIT 337th. But if you look at just America East play, out of nine teams in America East, NJIT on the offensive end, ninth in offensive efficiency, dead last. Dead last in effective field goal percentage. Dead last in two-point shooting. Second worst in three-point shooting. Binghamton's defense, dead last in defensive efficiency, dead last in turnovers forced, dead last in, uh, excuse me, second last in three-point uh, defense. So neither of these teams, you know, all that efficient. On the offensive end of the floor for Binghamton, you know, dead last in turnover percentage, second worst in, in uh, off, uh, offensive efficiency, second worst in effective field goal percentage, only ahead of NJIT, but the worst team in the conference in three-point shooting, worst team in the conference at the foul line it's this is just a bad matchup it's just it's 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 early actions so people want to obviously take a look at it now binghamton they do get to the free throw line at a fairly high rate they have the second highest free throw rate on offense in the america east the problem is is that when you're shooting 63 percent from the foul line you can get to the free throw line as often as you want if you're not making good on those opportunities really what good is it for you i mean that's all i can really say about binghamton this one and to the point that i just i don't want to be laying Six and a half points with a Binghamton team that really just can't hit water if they fell out of a boat right now. NGIT, not much better, but at least we're catching points with them. And these are two teams that have played their fair share of close games, even in defeat. I mean, NGIT, you know, out on the road, they lost to UMass Lowell, a pretty good UMass Lowell team, a team that I thought was maybe going to be a team to finish at the top of the conference this year. Lost to them by eight points. Lost to Albany at home by six. Lost to New Hampshire by eight. Lost to Maine by six. So... Only real blowouts that we've seen for NGIT are against two of the better teams in the conference in Vermont and Bryant. On the other side of the coin for Binghamton, they got the win over Maine, but they only beat them by one point. They went to OT with New Hampshire, but they've also been blown out by pretty much almost everybody else. They were lost by 20 points plus to UMass, Lowell, Vermont, and Albany as well. I just don't think that, like I said, I don't think Binghamton should be laying this many points in this spot. I'm going to take NGIT in the points here. That's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.